Trevor Bass here again with Dr. John Sullivan. John, um, we hear a lot about workforce planning, and my belief is it's probably beyond a lot of recruiters. What are your thoughts? How can a recruiter be effective in terms of workforce planning or demand forecasting? Well, short of it, they can. So if you look at strategic planning, business planning, it's inaccurate after 18 months in almost every place. It just doesn't work. So when you say, I'm going to plan ahead, it can be accurate. And if you can't be, because the world changes. So what we found is called a VUCA world, but the world changes so rapidly, it's not predictable. It's not a straight line anymore. So workforce planning is a regression analysis. It's a straight line, but the world isn't straight. It's, it's a VUCA up and down. So the best you can do is a talent pipeline, maybe six months out. Uh, but you can't forecast the demand because the demand changes with the economic forecast. And when the unemployment rate is 20%, you know, the demand is zero and the supply is huge. So it's unfortunate, but I've been doing work for planning for 20 years. About five years ago, it became pretty much impossible. So you can't forecast something that goes up and down like a whack-a-mole, you know what that is, constantly, not just up and down, but sideways. So you forecast as long as you're accurate, which might be six months, you have a pipeline of talent, which is always a good idea. But if you're saying demand or supply, my answer is I don't recommend it, I wouldn't do it, is that if you have great recruiting, there might be a shortage. But if you're a Google and you have a great brand and great recruiting, you'll get more than your fair share. So most of workforce planning is the market has a shortage. But for one single firm, the answer is no great baseball team, cricket team, football team has a shortage of talent. It doesn't matter, they get the best because they're great at recruiting, they're great at branding, they're great at attracting. So stop worrying about the world and the shortage of nurses or whatever. Have great branding, great recruiting, great pipeline, you will get more than your share. And the mediocre firms will be the ones that will suffer. But I have known no great firm that has a shortage of talent. It doesn't matter if supply is high or supply is low, they always get the cream of the cost. Thank you, Jim.